Hello, my name is Justice Williams and I'm the founder and editor-in-chief of Birmingham-based social enterprise City and Star magazine. Did you know that every day there are young women across the country that wake up feeling inadequate, uninspired, lost and lack a sense of purpose and direction in their lives? There is no denying that the lack of positive, successful and inspirational real-life women in the media plays a role in this. In fact, statistics show that 71% of news stories featuring women, women, women as victims. Victims of crime, broken relationships, and even victims of fashion. I am based in Birmingham, and Birmingham is a dynamic, vibrant, and cosmopolitan city. We're a diverse city, home to more Michelin-star restaurants than any city outside of the capital. And we're also home to the world-renowned jewellery quarter, which produces approximately 40% of the UK's jewellery, which is also home to City and Star magazine. But like any other city, we have our challenges. One in three children live below the poverty line. We have some wars which have the, some of the highest levels of deprivation in Western Europe. And also teenage pregnancy is amongst the highest in Europe, if not the highest. So what does this all mean? And what does the media and magazines have to do with this, if anything? Statistics show that women view magazines as a trusted friend. Instead of being inspired by mainstream glossy publications, they use them as a form of escapism. Sadly, to feel better about themselves, they read about some celebrities' recent fall from grace or latest fashion faux pas. But why should you want to escape from your life and not want to be inspired? If we created more media platforms that motivate and inspire women and for, to fulfill their potential, then things would be a lot different. We could help to tackle some of the inequalities faced by young women, leading to better informed choices, renewed hope, and opportunities for the future. And more importantly, to raise awareness about the issues that affect their everyday life. Five years ago, having featured in many broadsheets and magazines about my work with young people, I decided it was no longer just about being on the platform, but being able to create a platform for young women to step into their success. As a pilot, I self-financed True Life magazine. There were no women's magazines in the region. And outside of fashion, women's voices were still not being heard. The response was phenomenal, and I realised that as simple as a magazine may seem to many, the impact that it would have would be great. The feedback that I received was immense, and after conducting six months of research with 720 young women under 35, I decided that I finally felt that this is what I needed to do, and that working with young women in this fun and exciting way was exactly what was needed. Five years later, in 2013, that gap in the market, lucky for me, still existed. And now we have City and Star magazine. It's an inspirational lifestyle platform for the aspirational young woman and the socially conscious fashionista. We want to educate, inspire, empower, inform, and of course, entertain. As of 2014, we'll be a quarterly print publication, and next year we launch our online platform, cityandstar.co.uk. Any woman that says they do not want to look and feel beautiful every day will be telling you a lie. But it's not just about fashion and beauty. They are still important, but it's also about business, technology, politics, health, and more importantly, making the world that we live in a much better place. We want to take a holistic approach to meeting the needs of our readers. But to be truly effective, we need to be more than just a magazine. We need to create a network of woman, women who can inspire and support one another. Take our cover ambassador, we don't like to call them cover models, rather ambassadors, Christina Jagpal, a young 24-year-old graduate from Birmingham City University, who was named by Miss England as the most inspirational woman of the year, and also was Miss Birmingham 2012. It's not about being a pretty face. We want to evoke our reader into thought and ask the question, who is that girl? And what is so special about her as to why she's on the front cover? For nearly half of Christina's life, Nearly a decade, she has battled some form of cancer, multiple forms of cancer, which most people don't know because she goes and smiles and helps young people from disadvantaged communities to make their life a lot better. She has now become a full-time social entrepreneur and a youth ambassador for Birmingham. Readers get the opportunity to be a part of our network and attend bi-monthly events, engage in work experience, work placements, internships, and also as well, we have an annual Women of the Year Awards to celebrate women's success. 
Our first one actually takes place next month on November the 28th. A woman's voice is so important, not only within their household, their community and in the workplace, but equally important in the boardroom, in business and politics alike. We want to start and continue a deep and meaningful conversation with our readers and we would love you to all be involved. Maybe you could sponsor work placement or know a corporation who would. Maybe one of our awards or even donate some time in terms of contributing to our online or print editions. And we're not sexist. Men are also welcome to join the conversation too. We have so much exciting things in store, so please help us to create real change, and we believe that in the future, our social business is a model that can be replicated against any city in the UK. And one day, it would be great to see City and Style Bristol. Thank you.